A major parade to mark a change of role for the British Army's last remaining armoured division has taken place at its Hereford headquarters in Germany. 1st Armoured Division is losing its tanks and changing its name to 1st UK Division. It will take charge of the Army's new adaptable force, made up of regulars and reserves, and from next year to be based in York. Rob Olver has more. On a Hereford parade ground, nearly 500 troops honour a military formation. 1st Armoured Division is dropping the word armoured from its title and becoming 1st UK Division. A minor name adjustment perhaps, but it signifies big change. The new look division will lose its tanks and heavy artillery to become the Army's fledgling light roll adaptable force of regulars and reserves, but will still pack a punch, says its commander. Division! So we will have over 60% of the Army's infantry and Royal Armoured Corps combat units within us um, and that requirement for light roll forces, uh, of course, uh, will, will injure. The Army will continue to have tanks but now controlled by 3rd Division on Salisbury Plain. Division! First Division's responsibilities will include homeland defence and regular overseas engagements. But the parade is also about reflecting on the formation's decades in Germany, now awarded a Fahnenband streamer to add to its flag, one of the country's top military honours. As the Commander of Royal Artillery, I live in a town called Bad Oeynhausen, which is near Hereford. I'm the 27th Artillery Brigadier to live in the White House, a fabulous residence. And uh, that was where the headquarters of the British Army of the Rhine was set up at the end of World War II. And so the relationship has changed over time. But I'd say I was saying farewell to the Burgermeister yesterday. And the warmth and friendship that we have between the British Army and the local community is, is just massive. Today marks the beginning of the British exit from Germany. And there'll probably never be a parade in the country quite like this again. British forces are expected to have left their permanent bases here by 2018. The head of the army and guest of honour at this parade, himself a former First Armoured Division commander, knows that today's big occasion is entirely because of army restructuring. Well, I think we've done a very good job of reducing the amount of manpower in the army, as, as was required, really, by the country's financial situation, which was, you know, it was more about that than about um, the sense of a, a safer world, I think it's fair to say. Uh, we've done a very good job of getting as much capability as we can out of the resources we're given. And one of the reasons why we're leaving Germany is actually we'll be tauter and more efficient if we're in a more condensed space in the UK. And the capability that we can generate from there isn't quite as resilient as what we had before, but it's still a very significant capability and a very big contribution to NATO. Right. During the Cold War, 1st Armoured Division held back a potential Soviet attack. It fought two hot wars in 1991 and 2003 against Saddam Hussein's Iraq and helped to stabilise the Balkans. Now the renamed 1st UK Division is preparing for a new future in York, where it will set up base next year. And as it bids Auf Wiedersehen to Germany, the division still has 1,900 troops on duty in Afghanistan represented in this parade's finale by five rifles and their unique marching style. Rob Olver, Forces News, Hereford in Germany.